Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is and whatever part of the world you're at right now. Welcome back. And today we're going to do another review question pertaining to the quadratic function and or quadratic equations. So let's go ahead and take a look at number 15. Number 15 reads, write the values uh, in the boxes below to show the solutions to the equation. Now, based on how this these solutions are written up, this right here lets me know that we need to use need to use the quadratic formula. Oops, not spelling that correctly. We need to use the quadratic formula. Now, you may need to go to your notes to refresh your memory of the quadratic formula, but I'm going to go ahead and write it out. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that divided by 2a. So now, without further ado, in order to complete it, we need to label this as a, b, and c. And we know that a is 1. So we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 17. And just to make sure we're, we all understand that, I'll, I'll do this over here. Here's A, positive 1. Here's B, negative 2. Here's C, negative 17. Okay? So now, now that we know all the values, we can go ahead and plug these in and begin to work this stuff out. So X equals negative, and then what's B? B is negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, b is negative 2, and we got to square it, minus 4 times a times c. a is 1, c is negative 17. And all of that is going to be divided by 2a, or 2 times a, a is 1. Okay? So first thing I'm going to evaluate is right here. A negative times a negative is a positive. So this is going to become positive 2 plus or minus. Now I'm going to evaluate negative 2 squared, which means negative 2 times negative 2. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So this becomes 4 minus, right? Now I have to do 4 times 1, which is 4, and then I have to multiply that 4 times a negative 17. So when you do 4 times 17, you end up with 68, but that's going to be a negative 68. And then all that's going to be divided by, so we did that next, and that's how we got the negative 68. And then, obviously, on the bottom, the denominator right here, 2 times 1 is 2, so that becomes 2 on the bottom. Now, we're going to continue. Um, the, so, we have x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 68. So, right here, we have to change this. Okay, we have double negative. It changes to a plus sign, right? And everything is still divided by positive 2. So now if we keep working, we get x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 72. And all of that is going to be divided by 2. Okay. Now, the only other thing we need to do here is simplify the square root of 72. Right? We got to simplify this. Once again, we are going to factor it, and we end up with the square root of 9 times the square root of 8. Well, the square root of 9, that's a perfect square. That's 3. Okay? We still have to factor the 8. The 8 is not a perfect square, but if we factor it, we can factor in the 4 times 2. So, 
when we rewrite all of this, we'll have equals three times the square root of four times the square root of two. Now, the square root of four is a perfect square. That is equal to two. The square root of two is not a perfect square. So when we simplify this, this becomes three times two times the square root of two. Three times two is six times the square root of two. So now we know that the square root of 72 is really six square root two. So we're gonna have two plus or minus six square root two, all of that divided by two, okay? Now that we've done that, we're only gonna focus to, simplify, to finally get to our, our final answer. We have to still simplify. These numbers that I'm highlighting right here all can be divided by two. So technically speaking, I can divide this by two, I can divide that by two, and I can divide the two in the denominator by two. So when we do that, this becomes one plus or minus three square root two, all of that divided by one. But we already know that anything divided by one is just itself. So our final answer would be one plus or minus the square root of two. That's our final answer. So now let's scroll back up. And remember, we had x equals one plus or minus three square root two. And let's just double check our work. Let me scroll back down. One plus or minus three square root two. That's what we have. So getting back to that, I can erase all this now. We just need to fill these numbers in. This is gonna be one, we already have the plus or minus, and then three, and then square root of two. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude um, the review of question number 15. Have a great day and see y'all back later. Deuces.